I woke up on Orcas Island one morning in a boat on a trailer on the west side here. And I sat up and I looked around and I realized within a minute I was going to live here. The islands provide a isolated environment. We don't have a land bridge or any other means to come on and off the islands other than the ferry system. Over a million people come and visit the San Juans every year. And those people eat at the restaurants, they shop in retail, they take whale watching tours, they go fishing, they go kayaking. Everybody who comes here, they want to live this life that is rural and rugged, but they want power for their entertainment and their economic development. Opalco's big dream right now is resilience. We're looking at the power landscape and seeing how things are changing. The goal of energy storage is to enhance the safety, affordability, and reliability of our current infrastructure while transitioning to one that is renewable and clean. All of the islands are currently served by subsea cable that's connected to the mainland, and that cable is nearing the end of its life. Our business does not exist without power. Before we started, we had little to no true broadband, no connectivity, no coverage. If you go down the street and you talk to some of the folks who run retail shops, farm stands or anything where you have to process a transaction. If you take either the connectivity or the power that drives that connectivity, they don't have a business and you're taking food off their table. Most of our refrigerated product is vulnerable in a power outage. If the power goes out on a Wednesday, the next big delivery is on Tuesday, the next week. The engineers we want are personable, they communicate, and they form a team well. We need the team to work together to get to our final goal. As an engineer, I love problem solving. And 20 islands are served by Orcas Power and Light. That makes it really unique from an electrical engineering perspective because you're trying to serve power to this scattered set of islands. We look at things as though we could be severed from the mainland and we construct our projects such that we can still operate if the mainland is not there for us for short periods of time. Most of the power served in the San Juans comes from the federal hydro system. The community solar project generates power for our membership as a whole. This is where our battery project is gonna be connected. When you have storage on the other side, you can control the output of your solar in a way that you can't do without energy storage. This battery project will allow us to get the most out of our submarine cable, and therefore our members get the most out of their rates. The industry standard approach doesn't just work here. Uh, we have to do things creatively. We always have to look at it through the optics of what the islands really are. They're challenging, but they're also very, very rewarding. Being an islander means you're connected to everybody in this community. I take a lot of pride in having a stable, viable system. If you're dreaming about a world where we get all of our electricity from renewable or sustainable sources, energy storage has to play a big part in that dream.